All right, all you trash kickers in Doomland. Welcome back to another Slay tutorial episode here. Uh, previously, I was showing you how to go about adding custom monsters to your wad. Well, this one is going to be similar, except the difference is that you're going to be learning how to add custom weapons. Okay? So if you're a person who's looking to... Uh, you know, use something other than the stock weapons in Doom 2. Well, guess what? You came to the right place. So, oh, what you're going to need is you're going to need Slade and uh, GZ Doom Builder. But GZ Doom Builder, uh, I'll open that later on in this tutorial. First, we're going to open up Slade. So, I already made a wad titled Test underscore UDMF. Because the wads in UDMF, so okay. So um, we already have a Decker patch. Um, this is just showing you how to go about adding custom monsters. Um, now, uh, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to open up the um, the weapon file. <laughs> I call it the weapon because it's a wad file that's. Basically, it has a custom weapon. So, in this case, we have a railgun. Uh, this was downloaded off of uh, Realm 667. It's a website where you can download custom sprites, stuff like that. So, and the sprites are they're uh, represented as .dot wad files. So, so I uh, go with railgun in this case. So. And what you see here is a Deckard patch for Railgun. But because we already have a Deckard patch for uh, this WAD file that I have open, all I have to do is just copy the information that's in the Deckard patch of uh, the Railgun sprite and, and paste it into the Deckard patch in my uh, regular WAD file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy all that. Okay, so now we have the uh, railgun, at least the, the text portion of it. Now, the question is, what are we missing here? Answer, there's two things that we're missing here. We're missing an identification number, and we're also missing the, um, the slot number. Okay, um, I may or may not have discussed this in my previous Slade tutorial, the one about custom monsters, but but in order for the actors to work, you have to, in order for them to load in a GZ Doom Builder, you have to give them an identification number, okay? Because without that, they will not load in a WAD editing software. So let's go ahead and add an identification number for as far as the weapons are concerned. I've heard that if you choose a number between like 15 and 25,000, it would uh, it would be acceptable. So uh, this is a railgun here. So I'm gonna give it 15,006 because the plasma gun uh, occupies the slot uh, six. So if you press number six on your keyboard, it should uh, cycle to your plasma gun. Okay. So selection order 100. Um, slot number 6. Okay. I mean, I, I chose 6 simply because, well, it would make sense because the um, weapon, it uses up your cells and, and same goes with your plasma gun. So why can't the rail gun... Uh, you know, fall into the same slot as the plasma gun. So, you want to go ahead and uh, save it. Okay, um, as far as uh, saving changes to the file is concerned, I'll worry about that later. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to, okay, oh, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so what you see here is you see a bunch of uh, PNG files. What you want to do is you want to copy all of the PNG uh, patches 
that are in this file, you copy those and then you paste it into um, the group where um, where it says SS start and SS end. Well, the um, the SS patches, I mean, those ones, or I should call them markers because they're not really patches. Uh, those are for like custom sprites. So, you know, that's where you uh, store the custom uh, like monsters and weapons. So, okay. Go ahead and paste that. And now what you want to do is you want to convert these to Doom format. I mean, that's how I would go about doing it. So, graphics, going to go ahead and convert. And you want to make sure it's in Doom format, not anything else. So, Okay. So now that you have the sprites in your WAD file... Okay, let's go ahead and open the, the WAD file up with the GZ Doom Builder. Okay. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to add a thing. And you see it right here, it says ST Railgun, okay? And, you know, just like, you know, the custom monsters that you import, you know, when it comes to weapons, they'll all fall under, uh, or at least they should fall under the user-defined folder, okay? So you have your Railgun here. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save changes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test this thing out. Yeah, if you want to do uh, custom uh, monsters and weapons for vanilla style um, wads, then you'll have to play around with a dehacked patch. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and put on God mode here. Okay, let's see here. Give. Okay, so we got an Annihilator. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. The Annihilator has 7,000 health, so... There you go. So yeah, that's uh, that's your uh, railgun for you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and exit out now. Yeah, that was just a demonstration. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, after this tutorial, you should know how to add custom weapons to your um, wads. You know, all you got to do is you basically just, you know, you download the files from uh, from the Realm 667. Um, if you want to just use the resources that are out there. Um, and I also want to address, too, that if you want to make your own uh, sprites for your WAD files, I mean, you could do that. Uh, 
Just to keep in mind though that designing custom sprites does take a lot of work. So, um, yeah, it's it's not as simple as you expect it to be because you have to you know be able to draw something out using a specialized computer software. So, I think it's easier just to use the resources that are out there. That way it'll help save you time. So, uh, you know, all you gotta do is just, you know, have the Decker patches ready. And, and, you know, just do a little bit of a configuration. And, and also importing the, um, you know, custom uh, sprites into your WAD file. You know, like the patches specifically. And then, um, and also, uh, you you know, converting them to Doom format, uh, if you want to. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope that all of you have enjoyed this tutorial, um, and I hope to see you all again soon.